hi guys welcome back to my channel if you're new here my name is julia and i film all sorts of content from food reviews vlogs inspirational content just things to improve the quality of your life we decided to drive down to Bandabag over the Easter weekend, which is somewhere that I've always wanted to check out for a very long time. One of those regional areas that has, you know, a few things to offer and definitely worth driving six hours down for. We got tired at some point and hungry as well, so we decided to stop at the Travis Stone service center just to grab something to eat and also to freshen up. There were so many people, because I guess it's one of those places where you stop as you continue on with your journey it was so nice they had different food options we just wanted something to eat so we just grabbed whatever was available after a few more hours of driving we finally got to Bandabag city it's so small and cute and it was quiet which was kind of expected because it's a small town but also the fact that it was happy friday happy friday the fact that it was good friday there's usually not much going on not many places are open so people probably just tend to keep to themselves and stay in their houses Happy Easter guys, uh, what's everyone up to for Easter? Me, I came to Bandabag, which is such a small and cute town. Just wanted to do something different, something that I haven't done in a long time. Just visit like a, a regional area and just see what that experience will be. Bandabag is quite small, it, does, it doesn't seem like there's much to do, but I think there's a few hidden gems like the distillery and things like that and there's actually a few distilleries here so yeah i just wanted to experience and see what it's all about and yeah i hope that the weekend goes well i'll try and show bits and pieces of what we get up to while we're here just to see what there is so currently we're in a pub it's an RSL actually because we just came to Bandabag Central and we just decided to stop like the first place we saw and when we passed this RSL we saw that it looks a bit busy it looks like this is where people come to just hang out and chill so we were like okay let's check that out stop and maybe have a drink because we're also waiting to meet a friend the good thing about this RSL they've got uh, it's in the view it's by the water dirty river water but it still still has a view and there's a few boats in there My friend suggested that we go for bowling which was so exciting because I haven't done this in a very long time. We did have a good time mostly chatting, catching up and you know throwing the ball every now and then. We did two rounds of the game and we decided we should probably do something else, maybe go somewhere where we can actually sit down, relax and chill. Next stop was the library bar, which is where we ended up choosing to go. And true to its name, it's actually a bar that has like bookshelves and books in it. Such a cool and nice vibe. What we realized though was that they actually just serve drinks. They don't have any food on their menu. And I was so excited to see a mocktail menu. And of course, I chose a drink from there. They had a combination of like fruity, creamy drinks. So we decided to get one each just to try and see what the difference is. The guys did try some alcoholic drinks while we were busy trying our mocktails so I guess everyone did enjoy their drink of choice here. Morning guys. 
just decided to have a walk around the Bandabag city, town rather, and uh, so far it's so quiet as you can see, there isn't like much going on. And I think also because it's Easter Sunday, it's just not much happening. So I just decided to come and walk around the town and see what's open. I was hoping to see gift shops because I'd seen some and wanted to see whether they're open. But unfortunately, when, you came, when we came, they were closed. And I guess it's because it's Easter Sunday. But yeah, we're just walking around, trying to look for food as well. But there are not so many cafes, like little cute cafes. Well, at least I haven't, we haven't looked much. But yeah, we're just enjoying being in a small town, that whole experience. You know, and just trying to see what it's all about. So I'm really like, enjoying the experience. Now we're just about to go to Harvey Bay and I really wanted to pass yeah. by the Bandabag um, Ram Distillery. There's two, so there's uh, one, the actual distillery, and then there's another shop that sells like, and an alcoholic drinks and all that. And I just wanted to go and have a look and see whether you can at least see the outside because when we tried to book the tour, it just sold out in the Easter weekend. There's lots of people who will be walking around and just wanting to see to see it because it's one of the main attractions that they have here. Hey yeah, guys, I'll see you later. After walking around the main town and trying to look for any signs of life, any nice shops that were open, we decided that we wanted to check out the distillery and also the Bandabag Barrel. So the plan was to go to the Bandabag Barrel because it was quite close and then after that go to the distillery but we didn't have enough time so we only got to go to the Bandabag Barrel which I really really loved because you know the Bandabag Barrel does non-alcoholic drinks. Guys, I'm at the Bandabag Barrel, which is basically the Bandabag distillery side of the Atlanta Pokemon drinks. And yeah, it's so beautiful, and we're just looking at everything, and there's a bit of a production going on here. So, what I want to do now is this challenge called the smellography. Basically, what I'm going to do is go through this section here, which is the scents of different flavors that they have. And I'm supposed to smell, and then I guess what scent it is, see if I've got any right or wrong, and then yeah, just go through everything. So I'm just gonna start from this end. This is meant to be covered. Coconut. I can smell coconut straight off the bat. Oh yeah, it's coconut. I think also because I tried this coconut drink yesterday, and I already am like very familiar with the scent. All right, let's go to the next one. Either strawberry or guava. Let's see. Ah, passion fruit. Nah, that was a miss. It's passion fruit. I think this is the one that's guava. I'm not getting, I'm not getting any of them right. This is green apples and oh my god, okay I need to concentrate better. Let's try the other one. This is sarsaparilla. 
Because I do not like sarsaparilla and yes, I think I'm pretty sure about that. Yeah, sarsaparilla, liquor. Yeah, I knew that one because I don't like that smell. And this one, ginger. Yes. Anything strong? I just need to know how to guess it. This one. I think this is guava because I've tried everything else and guava is not it. Mango. Like I love mangoes. I don't know how I didn't guess that one. The building has a back room which is like a preview of what the actual factory looks like so in here you can see like the live action of what the factory is like you also get to see part of the production process i don't think this section is the entire production but you get to see how it's like in the factory They also had a section which I think is the actual ginger beer being brewed. At least that's what I thought these big barrels were. And once you see that, you're pretty much done with that walk. And when you keep going, you're just going to go back to the main shop where you can now purchase the different drinks and, the, and anything else that you want as a souvenir from the barrel. We wanted to take a few drinks with us and the first thing I did was go grab these drinks that were on display but I quickly realized that they do not have a variety in those boxes then later that's when I realized that there's a section where you get a box and you pick the exact drinks that you want to fill the box and I went there obviously spoiled for choice but I picked the ones that I hadn't tried before and hadn't tested before but come to think of it I think I wish we bought every single one of those drinks Next stop was driving down to Harvey Bay and to be honest by the time we were driving down we kind of knew that we were not going to have enough time to check out Harvey Bay because it was getting quite late, it was in the afternoon and we were just worried about having to drive down to Brisbane in the dark. So what we decided to do was just walk around, look for somewhere where we could eat and maybe you know just walk by the water and see the view, the sun as it was setting. Uh, but this is something I'd definitely love to do again. Just go back to Harvey Bay and check out what it has to offer. I hear they've got nice beaches and it would be really nice to go back and just experience that. The restaurant that we chose was actually quite busy. They had live music going on and I could tell this is somewhere that people just go to have a, a drink and chill out. And the best thing about them was that they had $10 pizzas. It was happy hour. It was an offer that they had. To be honest, we were planning to order off the menu, but the kitchen was still closed and was opening at 5 p.m. So we didn't have a choice but to have the pizzas. But I'm so glad that we got to try them all because they were amazing. They were so fresh. Definitely worth the $10. Yeah, 
yeah this is us driving back to brisbane we did make sure that we hit the road before it got too dark because it's not always safe to be driving when it's really pitch dark in regional areas especially that was a very short weekend trip i definitely wish that we could have stayed longer and i think what i've learned is that sometimes it's good to take a few days off so that you can get to really enjoy the places that you're going to i feel like i could go back again just to see the places there are so many beautiful areas with beaches that we've been told about that we didn't really get to experience but that's always something that you can do another day and of course check out the big pineapple and just really take time to sit down and savor the moment and the trip i'll see you guys next time please don't forget to like comment share and subscribe if you like this kind of content please let me know down below in the comment section bye